It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Um, one of the last things I want to ask you is, um, um, I, I told you yesterday, uh, one, one guy I know you spar a lot is a good friend of mine, uh, Angelo Leo. Uh, a lot of people I don't think know how good Angelo Leo really is because, you know, he did, he did win the world title, but he's had some inactivity. Um, from your time sharing there with him in the gym, sparring, what could you tell people about Angelo as a fighter? Quality as far as him as a, as a fighter? I've sparred Angelo f a long time ago and I just kept sparring with him and stuff like that. He's a great kid. He keeps continuously, he has a lot of determination, one, one thing, but he has a lot of skills too as a fighter. You know, I think he is the only one in sparring to drop me by body shots. Really, he dropped you by, by, by in sparring? Shots. Really? Yes. Wow. I, I took a knee, I, I didn't, I took a knee. Damn. And got back up, you know, and then and then I told him, don't go easy on me just because I got dropped on the on the body. But then- Keep going. I just, I just, I, you know, he, he went to tee off on me and I'm like, thank you. you know? <laughs> but I was able to survive, right? You know, I didn't get dropped again, but you know that was that was what Angelo does. Is he is, he is he is a phenomenal fighter. You know, a fighter that that has a lot of, of potential still. Yeah, I think so. And you know, and I I hundred percent support him. You know, he's one of those guys that just is just a good guy. And he he kind of breaks you down. It's like, like when he fights, it's almost like death by a thousand blows, like yeah. type of thing. He he just he just he's the onslaught is is, is relentless. You know, it yeah. just keeps coming and coming, and he's just right there in front of you. You know, so I I know that. The, the dude is 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 gonna be a champion again. I think he will be too. And you know what? You probably could be give a great perspective on this because you fought in a way and you sparred Angelo, and, and and they might fight in the future if Angelo becomes champion. Uh, how, how, do you th would you give Angelo a chance in that fight to beat in a way? Hundred percent. I yeah. told Angelo this. There's there's a way to beat in a way. You can't beat him if you're slower, but you can beat him by pressing. The thing is, in a way, got no no. I don't want to say no, but he he. He, it's lessened when you, because when you, uh, he has shorter arms. Okay. Right? So when you press him to the point where he's at, where you're at his face, he has, he, his power is diminished greatly because you can smother he's him. smothered. Mm -hmm. But because you get a guy who's wide, he's going to smother him like that. And that's why, in a way, as he goes up in weight, he's going to need to box even more. Because if you have a guy who just smother your punches, it's going to be very difficult for him. And I think Angelo can can make it a very very tough fight for him. That's what I. Mean. Yeah. Okay. I I think the same thing. But a lot of a lot of times, like the uh, like in a way fan base on YouTube, they I mean, like, they say I'm he not, has no chance and he's not. Yeah. The thing is, they didn't give me a chance in the first fight. No one gave me a chance when I when I fought Darchinian first place, the first time. You know, and 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 I did what I did right. And, and sometimes in boxing, you just don't know what happens. You know, you can look at all the paper, but sometimes. There's a change in 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 in, uh, in the physical limitation of, of someone. You yeah. know, like again, smothering in ways punches can can be a very detrimental thing to him. And that's why I believe going up in weight, he's gonna learn to box even more. Yeah, and um, they say like you, you fight the fights for a reason. You, you know, you, you can have your preconceived notions, but yeah. you know, I eventually have to fight the fight. See right. what see what was the truth. I just fight. That's what it yeah. is. Yeah, <laughs> give me a fighter. Like, okay, let's do it. You know. Oh, you know. You know, I'll ask you, okay, last question, I promise, but, <laughs> um, for it, bro. but um, if you do come back, is there one fighter in and around your weight class that you haven't fought yet that you say, you know what, before I get out, I got to get, I got to get him, I got to get him on well, my resume? I mean, the, the very thing, I, when I, well, first, when I came here, this is not the, the pertaining question, but first, first, when I came in here, I wanted to represent myself, uh, not my, 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 my fighters, and I ended up representing myself, and I said, give me number one or number <laughs> two. So that I can fight Inoue. Inoue's brother, Takuma. Takuma, okay. Yeah, yeah. so I was like, ah, let's do it, you know. But then, if you really want to look at a fun fight, I think Chocolatito is a great fight. Ooh. I think that's a legend versus legend fight right there. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I know um, he talked about potentially going up to 118 at one point. It was floated around there. Maybe if, the, if there's like a vacancy. Listen, maybe... I, can, I can meet him in between. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know, and this is only two pounds. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know? Nonito, I, I never thought about that fight, but that would be... Yeah, I, I think it's a great fight. Style-wise, how, how you see that fight, style-wise? I think style-wise, he, he's, he's too small for the weight. You know, that's why I'm willing to go down 115. Because he, he, if you look at the 115... He never really had that power like he did when he was in 108 or 112. Yeah, well, he was like he was like Mike Tyson with those weights. Right, and yeah. he was dropping guys. I mean, if you see the the Estrada fight, they were throwing hundreds or maybe thousands of punches, and at the next day they weren't even bruised. You know what I mean? Like I have a picture of that of Estrada after the fight. You know, and he didn't look like he was bruised at all. You know, but he but he landed a lot of punches, hundreds of punches. 
you know and I think yeah. that's a detriment is or that's the thing is 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 with with uh with him moving up in weight is is, is he's not as as um devastating as he was at his okay. real weight and you feel like you capitalize on that definitely yeah, yeah. no I, I would I, I don't want to take advantage of I it mean, I'm dropping I'll drop a weight so that I can I can be sucked up and and and, and you know and be more even at a disadvantage too because I, I feel that I would be too big, you know, but I think that would be a good, good fight. That'd be a good way to go out for both, for, for both of you guys, actually. Yeah, yeah. 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 So this is what it is. But, yeah, um, Mr. Honda gotta make it, man, gotta make it happen. Gotta get him on the, gotta, <laughs> yeah, gotta gotta get get him on the phone. I gotta give him a call. Yeah. Okay, no need to walk. No, but uh, yeah, man, I, you know, I love, I love fighting, and sometimes, you know, we don't, we don't. The, the, the biggest struggle for us is moving to the next stage. Mm. You know, the next phase of life. So. Yeah. Well, I'll be. I'm glad I met you, man. Um, but uh. Any, any final message you want to give to the boxer before you end the interview? Man, I just want to say thank you to all the fighters, man. The, the, the fighters who give all that they can, you know, the, the life that they go through, the sacrifice that they, they have to give. Um, and to all the fans, without you, without the fans, man, I, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't, none of us would ever be able to do what we do, you know, because of that. And, and that's why whatever the fans say, you know what? Whether whether it's 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 crazy or anything like that, but the fans is they want to see what it is, you know. And this is why boxing is changing, but because that's how powerful the fans are. But I want to say thank you to all the fans, the boxing fans for uh, for all supporting fight uh, the the game. You know, I love this I love the sport, and, and hopefully we can get a lot of people to keep supporting it oh. to the next level. Oh, absolutely, Nonito, it was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for talking to me. Thank, thank you for watching another video on the Untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.